Jordan was black, and she was become Palestinian. Like my sister Suhair Hamad, I was born Palestinian, and I am become black. But is that really so? My hair is straight-ish. My skin is brown. My nose is big and long, crooked and pointy and all kinds of fucked up still. I can access white privilege if I want. But that would be worse. It would rip my soul, so I search for the black in me. I find it in the Ethiopian women enslaved by my Arab forefathers who lost their identities, gave birth to Arab babies and injected Africa into my veins. I find it in the white supremacy that raped me. I find it when a European took my grandma's house, painted my country white, kicked us out to the cold curb, killed our neighbors, cut my brother's balls off, motherfuckers fucked my mother, then dragged me by the hair and told me that I needed liposuction to the nose job. It is where I believed that I was ugly, when I tried to be white. When I put down my flatbread and picked up a fork, and Mrs. Wall said that I was white enough to stop being a nigger lover. I find it where white boys dug up my ancestors' bones, built a tolerance museum over their graves in Jerusalem, put on a uniform and held me at gunpoint for a laugh, cause little white girls pushed me out of the pool one day screaming mean things at me in Hebrew. I feel it in the way my Arab brethren considered me human only after I got a USA passport, because otherwise I am vermin that they can feel sorry for and be outraged about. A thing fit for refugee camps that aren't fit for humans and good for cheap labor or a cheap whore. I find it in the dictates that I am the wrong kind of human. I find it because I am Palestinian and Jesus was Palestinian and Jesus was black. I find black from the poetry in my heart the song on my lips and the music in my hips. I am Palestinian, and in the bruise of my heart I am become black, because black is beautiful, and the beautiful in me is black.